coming out of the heart, we have the ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending thoracic behind the heart, and then descending abdominal aorta. I was trying to determine, I was like, I see if we look at there, up here, like, coming off here? the aortic arch, we have three branches, brachiocephalic, common carotid, and left subclavian. So the common carotid just continues to go up to supply the brain. The brachiocephalic comes over towards the right arm, the left subclavian to the left. These vessels change names based on location. So it's brachiocephalic artery, then it becomes subclavian artery, then it becomes axillary in the armpit, and then it becomes brachial in the arm, and then it splits off into radial thumb side and ulnar pinky side. Good. As we go down to the gut, so we already know it's the ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending thoracic, and descending abdominal aorta. Coming off of the descending abdominal aorta are five arterial branches. So we have the celiac trunk, and it's the highest arterial branch, celiac trunk. Then we have superior mesenteric artery, which feeds the small intestine. Then we have renal artery, goes to the kidneys. Then we have the gonadals, both sides, and then the inferior mesenteric artery. So it's celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, renal artery, gonadal arteries, and inferior mesenteric arteries. What about the veins? So for the veins, we have the superior vena cava, right? For the superior vena cava, it splits off into a left and right brachiocephalic. So superior vena cava, brachiocephalic vein, and then it continues to be subclavian, axillary, brachial just like the arteries. We can see it better on this side. Superior vena cava, brachiocephalic vein, subclavian vein, axillary vein in the armpit, brachial will continue down the middle, they've cut it, but brachial, and then we have radial vein, ulnar vein. We have two additional veins here. The brachial vein goes down the middle, but then we have a basilic vein, which is more medial, and a cephalic vein, more lateral. Basilic, like B-O. Yes, close to the armpit. And then also on your list is the median cubital. That's where we take blood from, median cubital. And that runs as a diagonal between the basilic and the cephalic, median cubital. Uh, the jugulars, so we have the jugulars, which are the veins that drain from the head. So, jugular veins. In the gut, we have the inferior vena cava. For the inferior vena cava, we only have three main branches that come directly off of it. The hepatic, highest branch, renal vein, and then there will be a gonadal vein, too. So the gonadal artery and vein run side by side. So just three. Hepatic vein, renal vein, and gonadal vein. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be cut off from here, right? Well, no. This is showing you some of the mesenteric veins. Oh, okay. But don't worry about them. Okay. So um, just imagine a gonadal vein. Yeah, just imagine it there. And then we also just said, what is the vein that connects the two capillary beds of the hepatic portal system? The hepatic portal vein. You can't really see it here that well, but I could ask you a question. Hepatic portal vein connects the two capillary beds. 